Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to our talk show, Apa Iya Kids. <laughs>
responsible for the behavior of employees of some company as long as they stick to the rules in North Korea on the other hand come from a country where respect for authority is very important moreover an insult to one North, Co North Korean is, a, is an insult to all so you may Yeah, I am glad to see you too. So, 
So we have been talked about mm. the difference of culture in eight ways. Mm. How do you see this, Mr. Lady? Especially there must be a lot of place that you have received in this world. Yeah, um, when I heard that book is from Parompong, I also graduated uh, senior high school from SMA plus Satu Lembang. And probably uh, at the time uh, I was shocked because I live in Bandung, but when I came to Lembang, this is colder, okay, colder. <laughs> and, uh, I was sick at the time because of the different, uh, different weather. So whether this is the same Bandung, I uh, experience uh, the new conditions. Yeah, and then so from Riau, yeah, probably uh, if I'm not mistaken, when I was in 2006, uh, I was the volunteer to have the uh, volunteer in education in what is um, what is the name in Riau in Riau. In Riau. So uh, yeah, I have to adapt at the time because Rio is so very hot. Because I am the volunteer, so uh, in Bungaraya, in Bungaraya. So I was in Bungaraya in 2006, and I also uh, have the uh, the different uh, weather. That's why I like to visit cities in Indonesia. I like to visit cities in the world. That is my experience. So, Mr. Diddy, best on your experiences mm. in these countries in Indonesia or in other countries, do you have some kind of feeling like nervous, scared, or worried about bad things when yeah. you meet people in your places or maybe culture shop in some places? Yeah, 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 that's right. I think uh, this is a natural for everybody uh, want to visit uh, cities, right? Mm -hmm. Whether this is Indonesia or overseas. And uh, as, uh, as a human, I think uh, this is natural for us to have nervous. Uh, probably you think that uh, I am the explorer to Indonesia, to the world, uh, you know me, but maybe it's not nervous, but no, absolutely. <laughs> I am nervous at the time, but you know, that is the importance of education. We have uh, we have these nervous, and then we are challenged, and then nervous one by one. This is not nervous anymore, and that is the goal of education. Probably when you come to this university at the first time, you will be shocked because of the assignment from this lecturer, from this lecturer. You have to present, you have to uh, finish your paper. Uh, uh, then you have to have the public speaking in front of your class. It is not first. The second still not first. The third, the fourth, until now, you are the fifth semester. You are getting uh, habits not to be not first any. Yeah, not first is humanities. Uh, this is natural. But we need to to be challenged so that our not first will be minimal. So, what about you, Miss Inda and Mr. Lady? When you visit some new place or meet some new people or get culture shop in and something like that? Mm -hmm. This is this is different. Mm -hmm. um, I always get a culture shop in mm -hmm. uh, in Aria and Bandung. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, someday I went to explore Bandung and. Uh, there was a cop driver mm -hmm. and say to me, Kalapa, Kalapa, and I think in my mind he is not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it was the route. Mm -hmm. The goal, the destination. Mm -hmm. Kebon Kalapa. Um, yeah, Kebon Kalapa, this is uh, clipping. Kebon is not mentioned. Kalapa, Kalapa. Cahun Kalapa. Yeah, that is a shock you. But this is not happening. Yeah, and uh, also there is a teacher who mm. I think that Tibiru is uh, blue in color, so mm. I think that Tibiru has a uh, full of um, blue buildings. I think. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you? So. Mm, yes, of course. Uh, yeah. I'm nice with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, but 
my experience is the first experience when I when I go to solo mm. with my brother. Mm. My brother uh, invited me to get Burjo. Yeah. Yeah. Burjo. But uh, that's uh, not a real name. Mm. Burjo in Bandung is uh, Bubur Kacang Hijau. Yes. 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 But in uh, Solo, Burjo is Warmindo. Oh, my God. Warmindo. Yes. Mm. Uh, the, the, the menu is uh, me. Mm. Coffee, mm. nah, just like that. Mm. And then I was so, mm. and my brother uh, tell me, you know, the the salad mm. can speak Sundanese language. Mm. Huh? Really? Mm. Uh, so I I test mm. the, the salad. Ma, ye sabaraha. He say. Sepuluh ribu, sepuluh ribu. Just, uh, just really, really shock. Why? Because uh, in Solo, wa, yeah, it's called warung in Solo. The seller can speak, speak Sundanese. Yeah, I think um, seller has its uniqueness uh, because uh, she or he has to market the meal or the drinks. Uh, probably the one, the seller in Bali also could speak English because there are many tourists there. So the seller has to have the skill of the language. But it uh, turned out that uh, the owner mm. uh, he say, I'm from uh, I'm from Kuningan, mm. so I can oh. I can uh, speak Sundanese. But this Burjo uh, since from uh, since 1943. Oh. Yeah, before our independence day. Yes, yes, and famous until now. Mm. Or make something new in case we won't get it in stock in that country shop. Or is it possible if we prevent those things? What do you guys think? And is it really? Yeah, um, this is unavoidable if you are going to other cities because uh, uh, it would be your first time and you don't know the place, you don't know the people, you don't know the meal. So yeah, the thing that will shock you will be natural. But how to minimize it? Uh, by but today, right? We have the internet here. We have uh, Google. We have YouTube. We can search what kind of places. Uh, don't you know that uh, internet not provides you only the text? You can visit. Uh, London or Paris, just in Google Map. This is 3D. You know, this is the tower. This is the place. This is the street. And also, we have the YouTube and also other material. So uh, the culture shock probably in the past would uh, happen extremely. But now for today, uh, this is uh, not on, not not too extreme because we can search other material, other sources just to minimize our culture shock. This is different era and different condition. So actually we can just buy using one feature to do yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So how about you, Mr. Mm -hmm. I think uh, to deal with uh, a culture shock, mm. maybe uh, we must try to open up uh, my mind yeah. okay. to the new culture. Mm custom and behavior mm. to, to the, the to the new environment. Yes. I use I usually to to try uh, learn about the new culture to, to understand the reason for the this cultural differences. Mm. So th that I can more easily interact and communicate smoothly, comfortably and effectively. Okay. And how about you Mr. I think that 
culture shock is something that we can't avoid because we will face new things every day uh, and we have to adapt it. But adapt in here is not always about acceptance. Like I said before, I don't like a funny man in the bedroom, so I make it with myself. Okay, then for the last question, mm -hmm. do you guys have a last statement or surprise to blow up our mind maybe for Mr. Reddit first? Okay, yeah. Um, actually, whether you uh, learn English for what more than four years in this university or in other institution, then when you first come to America, when you first come to England, you will uh, adapt because of your English, right? Yes. Uh, you need to have the experience. That's why uh, this is my last statement. You need to have it to the real situation in using your English, not only with your friends, but uh, you need to skill up to your foreigners, whether this is from Russia, from Korea, Chinese, Japan, uh, your mates, your friends, uh, out of Indonesia, you can make the conversation, communication with them, so that it will minimize the culture shock. So that also you can learn how to express our English, uh, not only with our friends in Indonesia, but uh, uh, with other friends in the world. That is my last statement. So what about you, Lucilla? Oh, well, the cultures are the new thing. The before is build our mind for being open minded, or open minded person, especially about respecting, accepting, and after that, we loving it. That's good. But we have to choose wisely if it's not a suitable uh, with religion or moral. people understand each other uh, better and mm -hmm. if they understand each other better in their soul mm -hmm. it is easier to overcome to economic and political barriers but mm -hmm. first they have to understand that their neighbor is in the, in the end just like them with the same problem mm -hmm. the same question okay that's one position what a great thoughts to be heard from all our speakers today okay. so can you guys give an applause for them yeah. Yes, the conference is here especially talking about anything that related to cultural things feels like it's much more time, but yeah, it's come through to us to say that way. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we all guys have to come forward to taking a picture together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Satu, dua, tiga. Once again, thanks a lot for Mr. Okay. Diddy as our guest speaker that mm -hmm. would like yes. to spend your time to come to this talk show mm -hmm. and also thank you so much for our special two speakers, Miss mm -hmm. Ida and Miss Rupi. Mm -hmm. But wait, before we end this talk show, mm -hmm. if I say talk show, uh, let's all say Apa iya kids, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Talk, talk show Apa iya kids. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.